Okay, so you can deduct the cost of operating your business. These costs are known as business expenses. These are costs you do not have to capitalize or include in the cost of goods sold, but can deduct in the current year. Now notice that these expenses are basically the kind of expenses that are most natural to an income tax type of system. In other words, when we think of an income tax, if I go back to the income statement, what should that tax be applied on? Well, you would think it shouldn't be applied to the gross income, the top line. If someone made $100,000, but then it took them $20,000 in order to generate the $100,000, if you taxed on the top line, then you might actually be applying a tax that they can't actually pay because the net income is too small to actually pay it, right? And you could also be disincentivizing certain businesses which have higher amounts of expenses in order to help to generate the business in favor of businesses that don't have to incur so many expenses in order to generate income. So the natural thing for an income tax would be to say, we will allow those types of deductions that are ordinary and necessary deductions in order to generate the income, in essence, applying the tax on net income as opposed to gross income. The reason this is a little bit confusing is because most people don't have a Schedule C, and that's the way the IRS kind of likes it, right? The IRS likes to have a situation where it's an employee-employer situation, most people being some kind of employee receiving then a W-2. And in a W-2 situation, the idea would be that the business is the one that incurred all the expenses. They're going to report the Schedule C or the business income tax return, like a Schedule C tax return or a partnership uh, type of return, recording the business expenses, including the salary on their end. And therefore, on the Form 1040 for an individual who is a W-2 employee, they're not going to be allowed any expenses. That kind of simplifies the process. The expenses that we do allow are often those things that are like above the line deductions or adjustments to income for normal tax returns, which are somewhat unusual oftentimes. Things like deducting IRA contribution, which is a little bit funny because that's a personal type of contribution. In that case, the IRS is trying to influence our behavior, trying to nudge us because they think we're too stupid to make adequate decisions on our own, right? So you can take a you can take a a nice stance to that saying, well, that's what the IRS should do, or you could or you could be kind of like me and say, I don't think that's the way that you should be incentivizing people by nudging them with the tax. I just don't think that's the way to do it. But you can also see that on the Schedule A, where you have the various deductions on the Schedule A, things like charitable contributions and uh, things like the home mortgage interest, which is a personal expense that are deducted on the Schedule A. Those are often not things that are given you are necessary, ordinary and necessary to generate income. It's either there's been lobbyists that have basically wanted the deduction in order to stimulate their kind of business, or they're trying to stimulate the economy, or there's some kind of political thing, or they're basically trying to incentivize our behavior, telling us it's for our own good because they're such nice care caretakers and they're trying to make, thing make us do the right thing because we're stupid. So that's the idea of that. But with the business expenses, these are the most natural type of expenses, which you can see most clearly on a Schedule C because you had to consume these things in order to generate the revenue. Now, note when it says here that these are costs that do not have to be capitalized, that's another term that can be a little bit confusing because in different contexts, you can see capitalization might mean different things. What we're basically saying here is that if it has to be capitalized, then you're putting it on the books as an asset as opposed to expensing it. The primary examples being the uh, inventory. So if you have inventory, when you buy the inventory, instead of just expensing the inventory when you purchase it, you typically have to put it on the books as an asset. Now note that the Schedule C itself is an income statement, not a balance sheet. Therefore, we don't have typically most of the assets because it's a balance sheet account on the tax return. But that's why the, the, the tax return requires that second schedule if you have inventory, the cost of goods sold calculation, reconciling beginning and ending inventory. And the other thing that we can say that we capitalize 
is basically property, plants, and equipment, where once again, if I buy a building, even if on a cash-based system, I'm typically forced to deviate from that cash-based system because the building is such a big difference between when I consume or use the building in the business and when I pay for it, therefore putting it on the books as an asset, a balance sheet account, which is reflected on the tax return, not by having a full balance sheet, but by having possibly depreciation schedules, giving the cost of the depreciable items and calculate depreciation on them, which we'll talk about in future presentations in much more detail. So, did, so to be deductible, a business expense must be both ordinary and necessary. So this gets a little bit messy because the idea, of course, with the business expenses is we have to keep them separate from the personal expenses, remembering that the Schedule C itself isn't a separate legal entity in the same sense that a corporation is. That's the point of a corporation. It's a separate legal entity which has liability protections and so on and so forth, which might be different than you might have for a Schedule C system. But from a bookkeeping standpoint, they are both basically the same in that we want to have them both accounted for separately uh, and, so, and so that we can then determine those types of things that were necessary to generate revenue in the business and those types of things that are personal.